Praise God. Jesus, bless the eyes and ears of the listeners. I plead the blood of Jesus on this in the name of Jesus. It's time for some scripture, y'all. This is just going to be scripture. Please get your pens, papers, write this down. Write it down and study them. We'll come on later on and do some revelation. Um, but there's a lot of fear, lots of fear going around right now because of the asteroid that may hit today and because of the sign on the 21st and because we know, you know, there's a lot of fear. So let's go over some scripture. So put down uh, Psalms 3.3. 3. But Lord, you are my shield, my wonderful God who gives me courage. Second Chronicles 16.9. The Lord searches all the earth for people who have given themselves completely to him. Okay. Deuteronomy 1.30. The Lord your God will go ahead of you and fight for you as he did in Egypt. You saw him do it. 2 Thessalonians 3.3, 3, but the Lord is faithful and will give you strength and will protect you from the evil one. Okay, Exodus 23.22, if you listen carefully to all he says and do everything I tell you, he said, I will be an enemy to your enemy. I will fight all who fight against you. If you listen and you are a doer, Okay, it's very important, y'all. All right, if you're worried, you're worried. Give all your worries to him because he cares for you. First Peter 5, 7. Jesus said, don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. John 14, 1. Do not worry about anything, but pray and ask God for everything you need, always giving thanks and God's peace, which is so great we cannot understand it. We'll keep our hearts and we'll keep your heart and mind in Jesus Christ. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Let the peace of let the peace that Christ gives control your thinking, because you were all called together in one body to have peace. Always be thankful. Colossians 3:15. Write these down, y'all. Uh, it says, I go to bed and sleep in peace because, Lord, only you keep me safe. Psalms 4, 8. Okay? <clears throat> if you're afraid, a lot of fear, a lot of fear going around. God did not give us a spirit of that makes us afraid, but the spirit of love and sound mind and self-control. 2 Timothy 1, 7. Okay, Romans 8, 15, 16. The spirit we receive does not make us slaves again to fear. It makes us children of God. With that spirit, we cry out, Father. And the spirit himself joins with our spirits to say we are God's children. Isaiah 40, 31. But the people who trust the Lord will become strong again. They will rise up as an eagle in the sky. Remember that eagle I saw in my video yesterday? The... um. People who trust the Lord will rise up like an eagle in the sky. They will run and not need rest. They will walk and not become tired. That's uh, Isaiah 40, 31. He will cover you with his feathers. And under his wings you can hide. His truth will be your shield and protection. Remember the, uh, the armor? His shield will be your truth. and His shield will be... His, I'm sorry, his truth will be your shield and protection. You will not fear any danger by night or by arrow during the day. You will not be afraid of diseases that come in the dark or sickness that strikes at noon. At your side, 1,000 people may die or even 10,000 right beside you, but you will not be hurt. Psalms 91, 4, 7. Okay, write these down, y'all. So you ask, what can I do? What can I do? Make better use of your time, like I tell you in every video. Study. Go do the studies. So, who? listen, he says, in Ecclesiastics 8, 5 through 7, whoever obeys the king's commands will be safe. A wise person does the right thing at the right time. There is a right time and a right way for everything, yet people often have many troubles. They do not know what the future holds, and no one can tell them what will happen. Okay, it says, do not, um, anyone who loves learning 
accepts correction, but a person who hates being corrected is stupid. That's Proverbs 12.1. Spend time with the wise and you will become wise. But the friends of fools will suffer. Proverbs 13.20. You're wise to do your Bible studies. Um, okay, a friend loves you all the time and a brother helps in time of trouble. Proverbs 17, 17. So you study. What do you do in these times? You study. You help people. You listen to God's word. You obey God's word. It says a lazy person will end up poor, but a hard worker will become rich. Those who gather crops on time are wise, but those who sleep through the harvest are a disgrace. Proverbs 10, 4 through 5. Hard workers will become leaders, but those who are lazy will be slaves. Proverbs 12, 24, so you work hard in God's kingdom. You understand? It's the word of God. All right, you can please God. The time is coming when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. And that time is here already. You see, the Father, too, is actively seeking such people to worship him. God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. John 4, 23 through 24. Okay. So through Jesus, let us always offer to God our sacrifice of praise. You praise God. Coming from the lips that speak his name. Do not forget to do good to others and share with them because such sacrifices pleases God. So you share the Lord Jesus Christ with others. Hebrews 13, 15 through 16. Those people who are ruled by their sinful selves cannot please God. But you are not ruled by your sinful selves. You are ruled by the Spirit. If that Spirit of God really lives in you, Romans 8, 8 and 9. See, I told you, if you want to say you're a Christian, born again, saved by God, you're a doer. The Spirit will be in you. You will want to do God's Word. You've got to be a doer of God's Word. You have to. I just read it to you from the Bible. And God gives us what we ask for because we obey God's commands and do what pleases him. 1 John 3.22. That's why he does that, because we obey his word. You can grow in the spirit, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory be to him now and forever. Amen. 2 Peter 3.18. It says, 1 Peter 2.2-3. 2 As newborn babies want milk, you should want the pure and simple teaching. By it, you can grow up and be saved because you have already examined and seen how good the Lord is. So you got to grow in the Lord by growing in his word and knowing it and doing it. Okay. So there's a lot of things you can do. It says loving God means obeying his commands. We're in first John five, three through five. Loving God means obeying his commands and God commands God's God's commands are not too hard for us because everyone who is a child of God uh, conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. So the one who wins against the world is the person who believes that Jesus is the son of God. And I told you what that word believe means, not just acknowledging. Everybody acknowledges Jesus is the son of God. Most people do. I mean, the demons in hell acknowledge it more than people do. Okay, a believe means that you believe everything he says. He tells you to be a doer, to study his word, to get it in your heart, to share your faith with the world. You got a lot to do. I just read that all to you. Okay, so count your blessings. Okay, count your blessings. There's a God has a plan of salvation. Okay, sin came into the world because of what one man did. With sin came death. That's why everyone must die, okay? Because everyone sins. Everybody sins, okay? Romans 5, 12. So it says all have sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. We all need to be made right with God by his grace, which is a free gift, okay? Romans 3, 23, 24. So give yourself to God right now, y'all. And those of you that are, that have done so, work harder. Study that Bible, do what God says to do. Be obedient to the Lord Jesus Christ. When you do all that, you're a believer. A believer. Okay? So we'll be back on later with Revelation. But right now, just calm down. Calm down. Things are happening. But I just read to you where God's our protector. In Jesus' name.